in 2001, the Belgian court, Diese court, 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 I have to translate really quickly in my head now. Um, filmmaker Sahim Omar Khalifa fled to Belgium, where he studied film direction um, uh, in St. Lucas in Brussels. In 2010, he won, um, with his short film, Land of Heroes, he won a prize, the jury prize in Iraq. And his later short films, Baghdad Messi and Bad Hunter, were also, um, well, also won prizes and were on a short list of the Oscars, which I think is pretty cool. And quite recently, to this list, um, with his first um, long, uh, Long film, how do you call it? Yeah, long spill film, Zagros. Um, he won the Grand Prix, well, the Grand Prix of the film fest in Ghent. And also he won an answer. He actually won two answers for best scenario and best film. And tonight I will uh, well, talk to Sahim. Sahim about the, well, actually the tension in his work between the personal um, and the more story constructions. And also talk about themes like migration and the, well, and the, the, well, the problems that um, refugees face, but also about the possibilities of fiction and non-fiction, um, how to make a story that lasts or that touches us. And this, we'll, uh, we, will, we will do this conversation. Um, he chose three film fragments from his latest film, Zagros, for us. And um, well, with these fragments, we will talk about these questions. Sahim, can you join me? Sahim. Sahim, are you okay in English? Is this yeah, sure, but okay. uh, the whole day I was practicing in Netherlands, in Dutch. Yes. <laughs> so it should be, you should be my Always best prepared, year. always be prepared. <laughs> so, Sahim, so tonight we will focus on your, um, on your film, Zagros. Um, do I, how do you call it? The first full feature film? Is that the right uh, term? Yeah, I have done a lot of short movies, but yes. this is the first uh, feature length of mine. Some corrections we have said that uh, Land of Heroes has won one prize at Iraq. Yes. I don't know what you picked up from where you were. So yeah. It was awarded at Balinada in Germany. Ah, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. I also thought, like, wow, there was a short film festival in Iraq. You cannot compare to win a prize in Balinada <laughs> and in Iraq, so it's a huge so contrast. Thought, yeah. huh? A Berlinale in Iraq? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, but Land of we're, Heroes we're future, plays think, in yeah. Iraq, maybe. Yeah. It's, it's, it takes place in Iraq, the, the film. Yeah, that, we have okay. shot in there, Iraq, there, Iraqi Kurdistan. Of course, yeah, of yeah, course, sure. there we are. There, yeah. I'm really sorry for that. No so, we will talk about Zagros, uh, maybe a little bit about the film. Yeah. Zagros is also, it's the name of the place, but also the name of um, one of the main characters in the film. The main character, yeah. The main character, actually, yeah. yeah. Zagros is actually quite happy uh, in the mountains of um, uh, Kurdistan, Turkish Kurdistan. And his wife, Havin, um, is actually less happy. Um, she stays in the village when he goes into the mountains. Let's, let's have a look at the first fragment. Reyhan, what's the Yeah, 
गुंदी बासा तो दिखे शेर बासा तो वाली चुदवे इशा कत गुदरे पूछ शो मिस बार बेखोरे जी कुत ऐडी बस पान इंसानी गुन मत बाजी ना इश बत पति और फसादी कत तिशकी तो निश्चित ना है गुहने दवान या बाशे बे بوتا بر حسانا تو دکار و سبا آخه تو داری به هفتان چیه دمینه و ایش می نازند دانیانو از به مهانش کن در ناک هم زاغ روز حفی ما گرا مل استانبولی آنچلی ایز می رجیم بونا وید دمی مدرک باز هرچند کی نه وید دمی مدرکاری بود بستان باش بوره یان پیدا کربانا اوج بو وید فاکیجی مامی بو چه بچه استانبولی از نکار من باشه بیشیم تو چه زنی چه ما ساق روز بنار بازار تو کارش خور کاری باش پیدا بکن. چه؟ ام هر شبان بون. ای چی بویم اتو مجبور کاری کارو با وان برد وام بکن. از برای مزنم. برای تی دیجی. ای دی. برای کی فاتب شبان تیم داد؟ دب رومانتیک دیدی؟ ویت میان سارو. انت ناخذ زارو کی؟ نه پس را ساک روز. از ناخذ نری هنچی می نامین وسا بیجی و حموجی آن خواهد ور بد در با. خیر چی دادی؟ یادی؟ شر دکم؟ نه کلا من نه. شر چی که جام من؟ ور ور بابا می خواد. به کی وجی ناخوازی؟ کج بابا خونه بیشه؟ تدفت فدر بیشی آن استانبول دی. فدری، از چی نخوازم من از استانبول؟ از چیای پر حذکم و خالتی کمی آلیس. دیگه نخوازم استانبول بیشی. در آب کجا مهار؟ آگ. هر بیام. It created about the synopsis of the movie. It was about Zagros. So Zagros. He's really enjoying his life in Kurdistan. He never liked to come to Belgium. For him, Kurdistan the place to be is his paradise. But because of his uh, love for his wife, his wife came to Belgium alone without him. And he knows Belgium it could be very difficult for him. It can be a hell for him. But because of his love for his wife is so huge, he decided also to come to Belgium to enjoy his life, his wife. But after coming to Belgium, so he started to listen to some stories about his wife. He began to doubt about his wife, and then he works against her instead to help her. That was the short uh, synopsis of the movie. Uh, some people here saw Zagros before? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so you're quite, uh, yeah, thank you for the synopsis. Um, so also maybe when you go back to this fragment, we see actually one person um, in a family who really doesn't feel um, at place and wants to leave and then I think almost by accident uh, goes to Belgium. So, but I think that's also something you wanted to show that within a family, not everybody wants to leave, has the same opinion about migration. Yes, sure, because I have also worked in Belgium as translator, so I've worked uh, six years at asylum center and also the visit, obviously asylum seeker who come to Belgium who applied for the asy asylum. I translated for them. So I have heard from a lot of families, not everybody who comes to Belgium, they would like to come to here, but because of the fact that some of the reasons, uh, they decided to come just to make family happy. And that, was, that was the way we, we would like to tell in the story, the story, the daughter and Zygos, they do like that. So I think uh, because of the fact that a lot of, of Belgian of, uh, people who work there, they, work, they think, Everybody comes to Belgium, they came because of the economical reason. That's not true. I think m most of them because of that. But we show also now that 20% or maybe 40% of them, they have real problem in their countries. I, see, I think it's really important for, the, for us to know <coughs> we should respect these people also. Yeah. I have worked there at the, in the last years. It was so painful to work there as a translator, and that was the way that I stopped to work there. 
because we have had a lot of people coming from Europe, in, from Albania, from Kosovo, from all the countries to Belgium. It was all the centers, they were full, but the people who work at asylum center, they sometimes, they had to hate the people who came to here. It was, for me, it was really painful to see that. I said, okay, I should stop here, working here. I think it's really important that we know the people who comes to here, and sometimes they have also done a huge things for our society, the Flemish and film industry also. For example, in the last years we have... For the film industry as, as, you, as yourself as well, right? Well, a lot of other people, for example, 15 years ago, it, in, in Flemish industry, most of them, they were Flemish, Belgian, but now in the last 15 years, it became very diverse. So we have a lot of uh, filmmakers from other regions. Mm -hmm. It's also a richness for the Flemish and Belgian culture. How did it happen for you? Because um, you came here, uh, here in, this, in, in Belgium uh, in 2001. You actually had made the same travel as the main character Zagros. You traveled uh, in the back of a uh, uh, yeah. truck. Yeah. Truck. Um, in the back of a truck. Uh, you also traveled illegally. Um, yeah. So was it the same way? Was it uh, five days in the dark? Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, I always make uh, films which is very close to my heart, but I never like to make autobiographical films. Why this distinction? Yeah, because for me it's really important that when I watch my movies, I can't tell myself I'm watching a movie about somebody else, not about myself. And also that the audience, they can ne never say we are watching the movie about the director. No, it's a film about him, it's close to his life, but it's not about his own life. For me, it's really important. Because, for example, if I compare me with Zagros, I think 10% of mine you can find in the movie. I also come from a very a nice place from Iraqi Kurdistan. It was really hard to make decision to come to Belgium. Mm -hmm. My father and my mother were here in Belgium, but for me, at that time, in Iraqi Kurdistan, the political situation was very bad, so I made my decision to come to here, and also illegally, and I paid a lot of money to come to Belgium. Sometimes it takes your life, and took a lot of risk to come to here. But for, at the other side, 80% of the movie, uh, fortunately, is not about myself. So when I work working as translator, I have heard a lot of stories, so I've made a combination from the stories that I have heard uh, by my working as a translator and also in the newspaper. So if I may compare with Zagros, Zagros is not made for Belgium, so he's somebody who cannot integrate in the Belgian society, he cannot find his way, and that's the way in the end he go back to Kurdistan, he cannot stay in Belgium. But for me, is Belgium the place to be? Is Los Angeles yes, yes. to reach your dreams? For me, I was always uh, like uh, to be a filmmaker and to make movies. Mm -hmm. In Belgium, I have uh, get my diploma. I have made films. I'm very happy to be here. So I'm not like Zagros. <laughs> yes, let's maybe we will talk about that later. Maybe let's let's have a look at the second fragment. Um, Heaven is gone, and Zagros needs to make a decision. She no get in I don't know how to do it. 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 I don't know how Thank you. 
بس يا بشو سيجي فين بيعك ميادة أنا عندك أسهل بيس بازار أبا برا بازار Tu veux dire ça depuis là Ça depuis qu'il y a d'avis, je vais grandir le chien. Non, il faut. Tu es allé. Hidi, Hidi, où est-ce que tu es là Tu es là, mais tu es là. Pepsi am bine astăzi, nu pot să purtăm în heia acum. Cu de lână. I-am dat hoazit sinor cu acea vidă, răbă, spune. Ha? Că și-am n-a ghizat gust. De iubă mea cu de ele, de ce? Jefe, bă. Ala cu jefe, că. باشه زد کارت سیم خود دی در که بیابم. فکر میکنم. نه چه کوری من نه چه. احمق نبی. و به عقل نکی. شناخت سوشتاره. تخابندیه. وی هر دم جی تبخ آبینه. سیم شوانی کی پر باشه. کش می نام خوازی. از دو خوازم که گو. Tak jsem pokrý. Mak. Dvě dny kde se jde na hoz. the film from here. Yeah. You have the thing you are in the story. <laughs> <Yeah. Hey laughs> um, <laughs> um, so at that point, Zagros makes a decision. Uh, he's going to join his wife um, in Brussels. That's what he knows now. But what we see here are the, also the very tight family bonds. So uh, of course the film is about migration, but also about family. Yes, for us it was really interesting to tell a story from about somebody who, who, who should have made a lot of decisions. Because I am from there, and you are in our region, as individual people, we cannot decide by ourselves. Each decision we should make, we should pay attention to our family, culture, tradition, religion, and later we discover that the decision we have made is not correct, we should make another decision. And always new decision, new decision, because it's not decided by ourselves. So here's Zagros, 
he should make uh, uh, a lot of decisions to leave his landscape, his sheep, his best friend, his dog, and also his family. It's, it's a huge decision that he should make. Mm -hmm. But because of his huge life, he, said, he thinks it's worth it to do that. And in the movies, you see also a lot of bad things in, 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 in the culture and tradition. But at the other side, you see that also culture has also a lot of th positive things. The solidarity in the family, uh, 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 to, to help each other. And for example, the father, he never came to Belgium, but after Zagos, he came to Belgium, uh, 1,000 kilometers, 4,000 kilometers far from his village, just to bring his son back to his village. And that was our intention to tell the story. This story is not about the refugees, because for us, it was really interesting to tell a story, a universal love story. And so we just put the refugee problem in the background to make it more realistic. Mm -hmm. um, we will see also later this th uh, third uh, scene, because we thought if we, make, if we make it longer about the refugee problem, people, they will forget Zagros story. They will just focus on the p refugee problem. I was that was actually, not our intention. Yes, I was actually quite, well, not surprised, but I thought I will see a film about migration. And then I thought, of course, it's about migration, but it's not about migration. It's about the difficulty of love, about trust, about leaving your family behind, leaving the, ex the expectations of your family. And also, yeah, the, like you said, every, every time again, you have to remake a decision uh, with all the doubts uh, in your head. Um, I had to think also what I actually really liked, I saw one of your short films as well, um, Bad Hunter, and it's also about the traditions in society, and, but there two young people kind of, it's, it is about uh, tradition and also this closeness of society and, and honor and all these things, but there you see how two young people can change it um, in, in their own ways, it's a really, actually really funny. I really enjoyed it. It's not really super funny, but it's. I really enjoyed the film. Um, so if you have a chance, Bad Hunter, I, I really uh, liked it. Um, so, um, what I also thought, of course, what we see here is the difficulty of um, leaving your roots behind, I think. Um, is that something that is important? Well, of course, when, you're, when you can live in the place, and where you're born and, and born and work in the place where you're born, you're not really confronted that often with your roots. Yeah. So but how is it for you, for example? So the, the main reason that I have decided to make this movie was about the woman position in our society, in Kurdish society. Because I was 11 years old with the Iraqi government. They have left Kurdistan in 91. At that time, the Kurdish people, uh, they have uh, Kurdula in the region. At that time, it was a very interesting time for me to see the Kurdish women fight and come to our village because our village was very conservative. Like the women, yeah, 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 the women, they were just cooking and wash dishes. But when we saw the women fight at come, our village was disciplined with the principle and they have changed a lot of things in our society. And it was really powerful to see that. It's like you bring, it's like you would bring from another planet to our village. And that was our story to make to tell a story, a lot of contrast. So the women in the village, they have no power. At the other hand, in the other places of the mountain, they were leaders. Uh, but you haven't watched the movie, the entire movie. But um, when we were looking for the location for the film in Turkish Kurdistan, I was also really surprised. In some places, it's really development. And the women have a strong position in our society, but if just go five kilometers farther, you see it's totally different. Because in my eyes, it was Kurdistan between Asia and Europe. We have the both sides, we have very development places, and we also we have a lot of places is very conservative. It is normal because we have an Islamic culture of tradition of thousands of years. The people, they don't accept it very quick because in the last 30 years, a lot of Kurdish movements, they have started, I think now, in the last three years, we have seen a lot of development, a lot of improvement, like we see in Syria and Kurdistan. The Kurdish women fighters, they have defeated the IS, so it was so powerful to see that. So I, I think now the people, they understand that, okay, the women fighters, they have changed a lot of things in our society, but on the other hand, we have a lot of victims. Yeah, because we have 
a tradition of thousand years, not everybody accepting that position of, of the woman. And that's the way when Harvey came to Belgium, for her, it's like uh, in the mountain, women, she thinks have, will have a lot of power, a lot of uh, freedom. And Zagros is also doing his best. He's a shepherd, but it's not a classical shepherd. It's an open-minded shepherd who accepted his wife and his, uh, the sister of his wife is guerrilla fighter. For him, he is accepting that. But when he came to Belgium, he has a bag. He has <coughs> got it from his father as a gift. So for us, for us was a, symbol, a symbolic way to tell you can do your best to be integrated in the society, but you cannot lose everything from your culture and tradition. There's always something in your side, you cannot lose it. Mm -hmm. So, yes. I mean, you can never be 100% Flemish or Belgian, so because you have a tradition of so many years, you do your best, but don't try that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And excuse me, so you meant you, he got a, got a gift from his father? Yeah, in the movie, Yes. in the beginning of the movie, you, you see his bag. Yes. And we, he came to Belgium. That's the only bag when he came to Belgium, he's bringing from, the Kurd, <laughs> from, from Kurdistan. So it means it's a part of his tradition and culture. That's true. He's, he, he, inside. He, yes, he, he carries his bag in the, in, the, in the mountains as well. Yeah. He always carries the same bag and he yeah, takes yeah. it with him uh, to Belgium. I, I think not if everybody sees that, but it was intentioned in the yes. movie. Yes, and how you said like the contrasts become bigger in Brussels, although things are not necessarily super bad. He gets a job, um, but the, the tensions, um, the contrasts with his wife become actually uh, bigger, the tension with his wife. Mm -hmm. so he, but yes, in, the, in the movie, yeah, so in the movie, so he, he wins against his culture and tradition, but in the end he cannot win against his uh, own passion and love for his wife. I'm not going to tell all the story about the end of the movie. So he's doing something very terrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it means, yeah, for us it was really inter interesting. He wins against his father and culture, but he cannot win against his own passion and love for his wife. Mm -hmm. I think we can um, maybe go to the last fragment. Um... So, and then head. Ben <gülüyor>
انا ما ممكن كنت من الفيديو ديال الدروس بس جاي وانا صار اي ذات واي جود لك اي ثوت ات واز ا فيري انتنس سنتنس ام اي رايت از ات 5 دايز وذ نو فود اند بودر اند جست وان وان واي تريب وذ نو ستوبس يا واس واس ريلي انتريستينغ تو تيل ذيس سين بيكوز We as Belgian people with the Belgian nationality, we go there in three hours. You are there, but the people come from that side to here. It costs so much money and costs their life and so difficult. And you make a huge decision. And besides, you are not sure you will be alive here or not, because uh, like we see in the television, there are thousands of people each month. They are drowning in the in the sea. And for us, it was really interesting to, to focus on that, who can be difficult to reach here, because when he came to Belgium, he should uh, listen to his wife's story. She has had a miscarriage during her, her uh, how do you say, trip to Belgium. He has, he has, she has done the same thing, and Zagros should, should believe her, because he, he, he saw by his own eyes how, how difficult it is to come to here. And also, to tell how the smugglers are, because the scene before, the smuggler was so funny with him and so friendly, and in this scene, and all of a sudden, he's taking everything from him and just to let him in, and uh, not friendly, because when I came to Belgium, it was the same, they told me, yeah, it's very easy, you go just, uh, you sit behind the uh, driver, Chill. one day you are there, yes. <laughs> but yeah. you go there, and you go just inside, you see 50 people, of 60 people, in a very small place, and it's not like you heard before. Mm -hmm. I think for us, it's really important to see that. And this scene was uh, much longer in this scenario. We have also shot it very longer. Like I said before, we have made it shorter because in the long version, you have the feeling you are seeing a film about the refugee, how they came to Belgium. For us, it was really important just to tell how difficult it is, we feel with him the same thing, because it was day, night, day, night, that you have the feeling, okay, it's not just one day, it's just a few days he arrived here. And also when he came to Belgium, <coughs> yeah, it's really surprised, because some of the people, they have a huge expectations, and they came to Belgium, they it's really not like they heard before. Why did you choose to be a filmmaker? Because you said you were a translator already, you studied uh, economy as well, you could have been so many things, and you decided to be a filmmaker. I think it was started when I was uh, started uh, in the first year in the basic school. I was seven years old, al uh, almost. I was uh, like uh, our friend there it was a good drawer, so I was drawing very good at that <laughs> time. And when I became 11 years old, uh, I st started to become a young photographer of our village. He was the only one who take pictures. So. I think photography and was the first step to cinema world. And when I was 14 years old, till I became 20 years old, I have made a lot of short films in Kurdistan, but just not for festivals, just as a matter. So mm -hmm. for myself, because I was very happy just to see pictures. And we have made a lot of short films based on the Kurdish films or Hollywood films, uh, just remake of it. And when I came to Belgium, I have just forgotten I would like to be a filmmaker. I have just uh, saw a feature of Sinduka's Film School in Brussels. Uh, somebody was working with the camera, and I told my friend, ah, is it film school? He said, yeah, we have a lot of film school in Belgium. Because it was the second year you were in Belgium, right? Uh, th yeah, three years later. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then I said, okay, I will just try to be a filmmaker. I went to Sinduka's school. It was a jury, uh, members, four of them. Mark Didden was one of them. He told me, why you came to here? I said, I would like to become a cinematographer, a cameraman. He said, no, he at Sidokas, you cannot become, become a photographer of cinematographer because you can become a film director of scenarist. I said, okay, I will do it because I'm just here, I will try. <laughs> I think it was a good decision because I'm coming from a region we have a lot of story to tell. If you make a movie, you should have a nice story to tell. Mm -hmm. And each time when I make a movie, I have a lot of ideas, synopsis. <laughs> it's hard to decide which one I'm going to make. I think it was a good decision to become 
a film director than a cinematographer because in Belgium we have a lot of good cinematographers. But do you think as a director you can actually address or maybe even solve certain, it's maybe very idealistic, but could you maybe solve or at least address problems around migration, problems that exist in the world? I think most of the artists, for me, I am also agree with them. We cannot give solution, but we just we ask a lot of questions. I think if you if you see that, if most of the time, by indirect way, you see the solution in it. For example, yeah, I have a neighbor in, in Belgium in Leuven. He, I, we are neighbors ten years. He never speak with me. I say why? Why you you make for yourself? So difficult. I am here. I am not living. I am not going back. I become part of Belgium society. I am living with you. It's better to make good decision, of good relation with me. And I think such people they should understand by themselves, not to make for them difficult. Because if we agree or not, so the immigration is almost 20 percent of Belgian, of maybe more Belgian people. We cannot send all them back. Some people that are here fourth generation, I think to accept them and Belgium will be stronger and will be bigger and also in all sections, not, only, not only, only in the film industry. And that film can raise questions and maybe that people maybe, well, helps people raising questions maybe. Yeah, for example, if you see Zagros, somebody who makes so many decisions to come to here, yeah. I think you're not going to hate him. You will. Even what he do in the end, you will have sympathy with him, and, and you will never uh, start to ignore him. I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe we will have a look at Biden. <laughs> Sorry, I surprised you. You always surprise me. Uh, yeah, that's what, that was a good one, I think. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So yeah, I like the. I'm gonna see the movie. So you you got me. Uh, so yeah. That's the, 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 the mountain you take with you. Which one could be the poster of the movie? Yes, oh. because there's also Zagros is the name of a mountain and also the I, name I, of, yeah, the, sure. of the main character. So the, the way you, you this one I don't understand. With the, you're with the roots, uh, yeah, yeah. you never escape your roots or Very something nice. like that. Then uh, I like the name <laughs> of the dog. It was a, a Star nice. Trek reference. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, then yeah. You would talk about your movies as autobiographical yeah, yeah, or to a point you. only 10 percent so it's only 10 percent of you but no problem because the camera sees only 10 percent uh, so yeah and then yeah, the migration through camera that's, that's all for me thank you thank you thank you, you, Rita. Um, thank you. And also thank you Sahi. um is there maybe i think we have time maybe for one question then we will Thank you very much, Sahim. We, oh yeah, sorry. Yes, Marwan. Just the... I think it should start working. The question is, well, thank you very much uh, both uh, for the f watching the fragments and the explanations. Um, what are the challenges of making such a film and what are the challenges of working on it today? Yeah, what was the second part, sorry? Working, what, what are the challenges of... Yeah. Uh, making the film and also working on the film today? Yeah, yeah. yeah it was really a very hard f movie to make it because uh, my intention was to shot in the Turkish Kurdistan and we went there, we have uh, made a lot of auditions, we have found all the location in the uh, east-west of Turkey, no? Southeast. Southeast, yeah, there. <laughs> and, but because of the uh, fact that problem was started in Turkey, and we have changed our plan. It was very painful for me because it was always my dream to shoot a movie there. Because for me, it's one of the most beautiful places on earth there. But the problem was started and the war between PKK and the Turkish army and all the producers, they say we cannot shoot there and we should find another <coughs> plan. And my producer told me we will shoot uh, we will shoot in Spain or Italy because it's very looking look like Kurdistan. But at the same time, it was in Molenbeek. It was uh, shooting a documentary movie currently in Molenbeek. We see during the launch pause uh, a documentary movie. I told to my uh, DOP cameraman, just we were watching Kurdistan now. After five minutes, I have discovered, oh, it's not Kurdistan, it's Greece. 
And then it come a uh, new idea in my head. I say, okay, why are you not going to shoot there in Greece instead of Italy? I just called my producer, we should go there. Because in Greece, we have a lot of Kurdish people there, live there. And I have also taken a lot of pictures. It exactly look like Kurdistan. But we have shot three days in Istanbul, but illegally. <laughs> so our Turkish uh, producer told us, if you say the name of the film is Zagros, they will never sh uh, lead you to shoot the movie there. If you should also change the synopsis of the movie. So we went there with a very small crew. We have changed the name Zagros to the long way to Istanbul. <laughs> And also we have changed the synopsis because we have shot at Atatürk airport. It was the most busiest place in Turkey. It was really succeeded. So we have shot three days in Istanbul without problems. But we have always the feeling they will, they will discover it. And also yeah, after the film was being made, we have sent it to a lot of festivals in Turkey. They really like it, but because of the fact, uh, yeah, of political problem there, they don't dare to select the movie. It's very painful because yeah, you, you make a movie, most of the actors from there, the story is about there, and it's forbidden. It's not officially forbidden with on paper, but just they, they can never select it. I think if the movie have been made four years ago, it can be selected at all festivals there, but now the day it's very you, difficult. Have you shown it there? I was in Iraqi Kurdistan two weeks ago and there have won also best film and best uh, actor, but in Turkish part, uh, not yet. Mm -hmm. It's very painful because most of the actors they really like to watch the movie. They haven't watched the movie yet. Wow. Yes. I mean the small roles. Sahim, thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for this talk, and um, we will move on to Merve. Thank you. Thank you, Sahim. Thank you.